Yeah. I'm Eamon Lacey, I'm captain of Exeter and my club is Eilert and Ballock. Well, Eilert well, and Ballock are two half parishes in the Camogie um, Club and Harlan Club. I'd be down on the coast near um, Blackwater, Kilmockridge, between Gorey and Mexford, if you go that way. And um, we'd have a lot of underage success. And the last five, six years, we've had an, we won the senior championship like in Wexford. And then last year was our first time we beat Freshford, who were a big hurdle for us for a number of years. And last year was our first Leinster title. And then we went on to the all Ireland semi final where we were beaten. But like, you know, it was nice to get that far. <laughs> Preparation are going very well so far now. Um, I think very little injuries and stuff. So um, Saturday nineteenth, we're playing Dublin. So you know we're really looking forward to getting into the thick of it and getting start in the championship. With new management, there's always going to be a change. And Jade and the lads, new trainer Jerry, and like he's, you know fresh faces after like your training's not the same. And you know there's new girls that have been brought in as well. Like and so it's, you know it's all a change, which is I think is brilliant as well. We bet um, Kilkenny in the league final there in April. It was brilliant to win the league, but like, the league is only the league. And main aim will be championship. Like you know, everyone wants to be here in Crow Park on in September, so you know we'll be pushing hard for it to get there. Um, well, God, we always know they're tough. We always, you know, have tough battles with them, and we played them in the league this year. And it was a very tough battle as well. Like so, you know, you have to be up for it, and everyone has to be playing well to beat them. So. Hopefully it'll all go well for us on the day. There's not just one team, like there's all the teams, like you know, they're all going to be difficult. Everyone's going to be wanting the same thing, like so. If you don't get your points, you're not going to get it through to the semi-final. And like maybe it's a it's a good thing, like they were playing the six teams, whereas last year was only the group stages where you had to get out. But um, it's, you know, good matches it'd be tough. So there's no one team that you could name, like you know. My social life is <laughs> zero, uh, but um, I, everyone makes sacrifices. But sure, at the end of it, if you're, you know, successful, you don't mind any sacrifices to get, like you know, to have a good few weeks, months after you're finished playing. So, ah, uh, but sure, you have other things to do. Find that without your nightlife. <laughs> Perfect. Um, what keeps you occupied in Monday to Friday? Um, well, currently, I'm going to finish college there last year, and you know, was, the way thing is, it's hard to get a job. But I'm selling Sky at the minute, so. It's going well, we're doing a few days a week and, you know, it's handy and I enjoy it, meeting different people the whole time. <laughs> With my mother, like, she would have had us, I'd say we were up in the fields and about four or five, both me and Mary, were, you know, so it wasn't like, Camogie was the main thing in our area as well, like, so, you know, GA, there was no football or anything, like, so i say we had no other choice but to get involved. <laughs> Story and Liam Dunn would have been two main out of our area. Like, you know, they would have been in the school after 96, still raving on about 96, but um, they would have been came with the cups and all. And, you know, he would have been kind of aspired to be like them. And, you know, Martin was a brilliant, like, he was a forward as well. And he was all like, you'd see him catching balls. And, you know, he's a great player too. So. <laughs>